Hello and welcome to Small Seeds. Today we will be talking about the edible flowers of the elder tree. This species of elder I have behind me is Sambucus canadensis. Sambucus canadensis is native to North America and it is also very closely related to the native species of Europe, Sambucus nigra. They are so closely related that Sambucus canadensis has been classified as a subspecies of Sambucus nigra. Traditionally, all parts of the small tree or shrub have been used medicinally. However, it's not as common to use the bark, leaves, roots, and stems of the plant anymore due to toxicity. Now even the edible parts of the plant, which are the flowers and the berries, can still be mildly toxic, so it is usually suggested to cook or dry before use. Elder flowers share some of the same health benefits and immune boosting properties as the berries, which is why you will also often find the elder flowers added to different supplements and remedies. Some popular things to do with elder flowers are to make elder flower cordial, elder flower champagne, elder flower syrup, making an herbal tea or infusion from the fresh or dried elder flowers, elder flower tinctures, elder flower infused honey, they are also really great added to different desserts and baked goods, and yesterday we made fritters with them. But before we start talking about those delicious fritters, let's talk a little bit about identification, starting with the flowers. The flowers are a creamy white color, which have a sweet aroma when they open up. The flowers grow in an umbel-shaped flower cluster. Each individual flower has five petals, with five stamens coming out from the center of each flower. At the ends of each stamen, are pollen sacs called anthers. The leaves of elder are pinnately compound with an odd number of leaflets at each leaf. The leaflets grow in opposite pairs along the leaf stem called a rachis, with a terminal leaflet at the end of each leaf. And each leaflet is serrated around the edges. The bark of the elder tree is a light brown color and is often spotted with brown bumps along the stems. The new growth is green and sometimes a reddish purple in color. Some places you might find some wild elders growing are along roadsides, along streams and riverbanks, and also in moist woodlands. Another important thing to remember when you are harvesting flowers from the elder tree is to be sparing. Different insects are attracted to the flowers of the elder tree, and once the berries have ripened, they are a food source for different birds and other creatures. So, save some for the little critters. Now let's talk about the fritters. The recipe that we use for the fritters we found online and we will post the link for that in the description below. We also found a vegan recipe which we will also put in the description below. So the only thing I did a little differently from the recipe was adding a little bit of maple syrup into the batter compared to sugar to sweeten it. I used coconut oil to fry the fritters in and once the flour side was fried, I cut the stems off and flipped it over. This way we used less oil and I was able to get both sides of the fritters golden brown and crispy. Mmm, tasty. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode in our Wild Edible series. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been giving us feedback, who's been liking, commenting, and sharing, and to all of the people who have subscribed to our channel thus far. Thank you all very much and I really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day.